Lip trills are a great exercise that help with extending your range and balancing airflow and chord closure. As a vocal coach, I've worked with many singers who actually struggle with this exercise, and if you happen to be able to relate to that, watch this video because I'm gonna be showing you how to do a lip trill properly, and I'll also give you some things to try when you find yourself getting stuck on this exercise. And be sure to watch to the end because we'll also do a quick warm up that you can come back to every time you wanna practice your lip trills. Keep on watching. The key to doing a lip trill correctly is making sure that you have a balance of airflow and resistance here. So usually the airflow is not the problem, although if you do have issues with air, you just wanna make sure that you get a good 360 degree breath when you're inhaling for singing. And if you don't know how to do that, be sure to check out this video right here where I actually teach you how to do that. But you'll wanna make sure you get that nice 360 breath and then if your lips are, if there's no resistance there, you're not going to be able to keep the sound. So what you want to do is think the letter B on your lips. And you don't want them to be too pressed because that will be too much resistance. A lot of times when people do that, they might be thinking the letter P instead of B, right? It's really spitty. So if we think B, and if you're still having trouble with that, what you can do is take your fingers and just push from underneath your lips and push up you want to do it in the right spot like sometimes right here in the corner of your mouth you just want to make sure that you're not pushing them apart right because you're not going to be able to make any sound like that so make sure you have a nice good breath and then think the letter b and the other thing that we can do is think E inside of your mouth. So we're going to think B on your lips, and then we'll think E. We'll put your tongue in that vowel shape of an E inside of your mouth, and it'll sound like this. That is especially helpful when we're going for our higher notes. Now, sometimes, and I've even said this myself, which is to, like, put a golf ball in your mouth, right? But also, putting your mouth in the shape of an E, it can be even more helpful when you're working on extending your range. We're gonna get into the exercise right now, but I just want you to keep these two things in mind while you're doing the exercise. One of them is inside of your mouth, make sure that your teeth are not touching, they're not clenched. Okay, we're not doing it like this. Just relax inside of your mouth. And then make sure that the tip of your tongue is behind your bottom teeth. And remember, we're thinking the letter E inside of your mouth. <laughs> All right, now let's do an exercise that you can come back to every time you wanna work on your lip trills. This is actually a great one for range extension too. So we're gonna to remember to think the letter B on our lips and the letter E inside of our mouth, and you can push up with your fingers, okay? So the exercise sounds like this. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
last one. Great job and you can come back to this video every time you want to do elliptical workout and work on extending your range. If you like this video then you may want to check out my singing tips playlist right here. I want to thank you for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful. I'll see you on the next one but until then keep dreaming with your eyes wide open. Bye! I'm going in circles, you spin me around